name is Ernie Bustamante, and this is the Latino Vote Show. Kanye West is on the ballot in 12 states. Previously, after criticizing record labels, Kanye West posted a video of himself peeing on one of his Grammys. Now, if you ask me, this is a pretty clever campaign video. It shows that he's willing to stand up to corporations, and judging from his urine, he's well hydrated. Now, I know a lot of people think that Kanye West is going to take votes away from Joe Biden, but I disagree. The people who are voting for Kanye West think that a mentally ill, narcissistic celebrity should be commander-in-chief. These are MAGA voters, that's right. They're also the voters who join pyramid schemes. And um, if you're interested, I have an opportunity where you can set your own hours and be your own boss. That's right, the link is in my bio. Less and less people are saying that they will get a coronavirus vaccine when it becomes available. Now, a lot of this has to do with the fact that Donald Trump has been lying about the virus since the pandemic began. For example, when he said the virus would be gone by Easter. Though, in his defense, he didn't say which Easter. Currently, states are releasing their vaccination plans. Now, the hard part isn't deciding who gets vaccinated, but how people get vaccinated. My first idea is Amazon Prime. And if that doesn't work, Postmates, if Amazon Prime hasn't already bought them. But actually, I have an idea, and I think it'll get a lot more people to get vaccinated. Supermarket Sweep COVID-19 Edition. That's right. Two people enter a grocery store, and they have five minutes to scour the aisles to find the coronavirus vaccine. Don't worry. Everyone will be wearing masks. Damn, I need to get on the coronavirus task force. Does it still exist? Can someone uh, research that? Hundreds of people in Colorado have been evacuated due to the wildfires. That's right. Just like in California, the color of the sky has turned from blue to bright orange. Now, I'm not superstitious, but when the sky turns the color of Donald Trump, you know we have taken things too far. And to the climate change deniers, I say, you can't keep looking at the world through Jack Nicholson colored glasses. Now for entertainment news. The multi-billion dollar company Quibi, which stood for Quick Bites, has folded. And yet with all that money, Quibi did not have a single Latino-led series. Was that its downfall? I think so, because I have seen that video of the two Mexican sisters at the birthday party and the little sister grabs her sister's hair and just yanks the crap out of it. I've seen that like 15 times. They should have had more programming like that. Over 270 Latino film and TV writers have signed their name in an open letter to Hollywood, calling attention to the exclusion of Latino voices. Unfortunately, the letter to Quibi was returned to sender. Now, I'm proud to say that I also signed that letter, though I am still personally offended that the committee didn't go with my original draft of the letter that read, Hey Hollywood, what's the fucking problem, Essay? And that is the news.